What's the dumbest thing you've ever been afraid of as a child? The shark in the pool. The shark in my pool was going to come out of the light in the deep end. That's where the pool sharks live. I was afraid Chucky would crawl up from the toilet while I was pooping and stab me in the butt. I have no idea why I thought this would happen. Also doorway gremlins. Legit was afraid I would walk through a door and there would be gremlin monsters on the other side. At the top waiting to pounce on me and kill me. Again, no idea why I thought this would happen. The man at the bottom of the stairs. I've never seen his spooky ass. But I know he chases me up every time. That some bitch has been chasing me up the stairs for 35 years. The best friend of my dad. Honestly he is such a funny, amazing and nice person and I was literally crying and screaming while running away. Same here, man. I was terrified as a kid after I had a nightmare about him driving me and my sister around in his convertible, which actually happened. Flushing the toilet at night. It seemed so loud and would literally freak me out. Flushing the toilet at all for me. I used to press the button and run. At 5, I was afraid that if people talked shit about the wind it would send a tornado to kill the monsieur. One time my dad said, damn, it's so windy, and I was like, dad no, quote, the time before I was old enough to realize I was too large to be sucked down the bathtub drain. B. Vacuum a sewer cleaner. Edit. Holy frick I look him back to Reddit at 8 in the morning and this has happened. Thanks to everyone who upvoted. If you clean a vacuum cleaner, you would make the vacuum cleaner. And you would be a vacuum cleaner. God hearing me swearing. Sometimes I would hide in the closet from God and just chanted for a while all the bad words I have. Learned from the older kids. God can't hear inside the closet. So that's why the gays were in there, s. I like that you believe that God was both able hear you swear but not omnipotent enough to see you. In the closet. Shots. Vaccinations. I was convinced that my veins were already full of blood. And injecting any more liquid into them would cause them to explode. I wonder how easy it would be to convince an anti-vaxxer that this was true. Just make a factual looking meme about it. Post it on a popular anti-vaxxer FB page and watch it go viral. I was very anxious about eating soup. I thought we had a stomach-like compartment for solids. And a separate one for liquids. The solids were processed by the body and became poop. The liquids were processed and became urine. Two complete systems independent of each other. If food or drink went where it wasn't meant to go, the person would cough and splutter to give the body a chance to move it to the appropriate receptacle, hence the concerned parent saying, oops, wrong hole, you okay, quote dot, someone told me it was unhealthy to have a drink with your meal, when in fact the opposite is true, reinforcing this separate systems idea in my mind, so where did soup go, the chunky kind, and what about stews, gravy, ice cream, the more I thought about it, the more anxious I became. I thought it was went down the wrong pipe, wrong hole, sounds like a different problem monsieur. Small soldiers, I remember having nightmares after I watched that film monsieur. I don't blame you, that movie is fucking weird. The Heffalumps and Woozles song from Winnie the Pooh? I dunno that one is still kinda scary and I am 32 lol. Balloons. Specifically, balloons popping. When I was really young my dad popped one near my face as a joke. But it really traumatized me. I hated going to birthday parties because there were always games where you had to pop a balloon in. Some for Monsieur I eventually grew out of it. But even now at 32 I still feel a bit uneasy when I hear that sound. Me too. I remember going to a party and crying because they had the pop the balloon game and I didn't want to. I was okay with other kids popping theirs. So long as it wasn't too close to me. But no way I was going to pop one. In the end the mother of the party gently snipped the neck of mine so it deflated slowly. Greater than in the end the mother of the party gently snipped the neck of mine so it deflated slowly. That's sweet. D. 
I used to have a recurring nightmare about a vampire parrot that we kept as a pet for some reason. In my dream, it was a family pet, and we just kept him in a cage, hanging from the ceiling in the hall. It was just a regular looking parrot, totally unassuming. My family believed it was just a cute, feathery, colorful critter, but nobody else realized it would feed on me. When they couldn't see it, it would steal my blood. When I cried to my parents, they refused to believe me. Nobody believed me. Here's the thing. It didn't bite me to drain my blood. It asterisk hooked me up to an IV and drained my blood directly into its little bird body asterisk. I don't actually know how it managed to do this. There would be some twist of dream logic and suddenly it was just happening. In the dream, I would be sitting in a chair, IV attached, blood draining into the evil bird. My parents might even be standing asterisk right there. Asterisk I would cry and cry because he's taking too much of my blood. Mommy, he's going to kill me. It was all happening right in front of the monsieur but they would just tell me to stop making things up. It's like they couldn't see the dark transfer unfolding right in front of the monsieur. And the bird knew. I never actually had a parrot as a pet. He only existed in my dreams but he popped in to have his feast every week or so for a significant period of my three-year-old life. Holly Van to suck your bloody pressure cookers. Pressure cookers still and always will scare me. That's a quite rational fear actually. Automatic stairs. I thought if I wouldn't jump in time I would be trapped and crushed. My monkey brain still thinks this sometimes to be honest. People do get their shoes stuck in them and can sustain serious injury. Totally valid fear. The old lady with a gun from Ratatouille. You know the sound a dove and pigeon makes. I used to think they were ghosts. I thought my parents were lying to me about it being birds. I would run back into the house if I heard one sing. My grandmother once told me that morning doves will only coo to people who are about to die. She learned that some tall tales are not appropriate for kids after the existential panic attack. Two weeks later, so, when I was kid I was absolutely sure I put this green pea snap on a table and saw it crawling. I refused to eat it, thinking it was a bag of bugs pretending to be dead so you would be tricked to eat it. Yes, four-year-old me was dumb. It was when I was in my teens that I found out my old nanny brought me to her boyfriend's place. When my parents were out, and while they would do it next door, they would give some kind of medicine to knock me out, apparently. I picked up a pea cracker in the midst of passing out and hallucinated about it. It was also why my nanny got fired not long after. What the fuck? What the fuck? My sister is six years older than me and my twin. When we were five-ish she told us she was secretly a witch and she needed to eat children to survive. I thought you meant the same sister was both six years older and your twin haha. <laughs> The red lights from cell towers. They always look so scary at night. Especially on a foggy night, when you can kinda see the monsieur. Quicksand. I thought it was going to be a huge problem monsieur I used to avoid soft mushy mud. I've yet to quickly sink in sand. Santa Claus. Nothing scary than an old man coming down the chimney of little kids and giving the presents. I was afraid of grass for a long time but particularly male clover. I don't know why, edit, can't find a picture of male clover. But they were thin strands of bumps with like, little seeds you could rip off effortlessly. Not harmful plants at all. You were AFRA idea of grass. Like genuine fear. You weren't just grossed out by it. I was scared, yep. Didn't want to go near it, didn't want to touch it. I can't explain it thought a huge human-sized panda was waiting for me up the stairs of this a two-story apartment. My aunt lived on the bottom floor where the entrance was. I was like four but whenever we walked past I got a bad feeling. Aren't pandas bigger than people? Also your fear isn't too bad. They've killed people. Yeah you're right I've been watching too many baby panda videos but I picture them walking like a human and taking me lol. Michael Jackson, my sister told me he was a demon. 
The thriller video fucked up a generation. My brothers convinced me that Jaws and other sharks would be attracted to my red life jacket and made me terrified of jumping into the water. The water of a freshwater lake. At first glance I thought you were gonna say that you were scared of juice. I was scared my poop would somehow come out a small gap between the toilet and the seat so I used to poop with my legs sticking out straight so it wouldn't get on me. Physics was never going to be a strong suit for me. I was afraid of Charlie Chaplin. All his movies used to creep me out. Just seeing his pick for some reason filled me with fear. Probably Hitler. When I lock the toilet cabin it won't open anymore and I have to stay there forever. Haven't done it until middle school and yes that leads to many embarrassing moments. Used to have the same fear. Once when I was little, I locked myself in a bathroom in an embassy to take a dump. Little did I know that the lock was stiff. So when I went to open it I couldn't. I was scared shitless. Until my dad came and unlocked the door from the outside. After that I was scared to lock the door for a few years. So I pretty much never did. Then I became a strong boy and realized that I could easily open it. Tapeworms. As a child I asked my parents why it was so itchy down there. After learning the horrific truth I was so terrified that I held in a mega duche for hours. The most painful screening of Air Force One I have ever had the displeasure of enduring. Edit. Pinworms asterisk. They told you it was itchy because of tapeworms. Not because you didn't wipe well enough. Maybe they meant pinworms which is an actual asshole itch causing machine. I was afraid I could kill people with my thoughts. Apropos of nothing. Except maybe my mildly Catholic upbringing. I decided if I didn't pray every night to every religious figure I could think of. I had a really long list I'd memorized. Oh my god. I was so neurotic. Somehow the universe would know and my loved ones would die. I was about seven. It was around the time where you make first confession and communion. So I guess I'd caught religion. I got over it after about a year. Land sharks. Sharks don't walk around the beach at night. Knocks on door candy gras monsieur. I'm over 50 and to this day never ever dangle any of my limbs over the edge of the bed because I am convinced something evil lives under the bed. And no matter where I've lived, this has been the case since I was 5 and not only watched the evil doll episode in a trilogy of terror but also was terrified by the tiny people who lived in the walls in 1973's Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. I shit you not, flowers. My dad convinced me that he would turn into a goldfish at night and turn back into a human in the morning. Why? When you're a dad, you'll understand smiley face. The letters PF on the microwave after a power outage. Getting shocked if I try to plug it in an electrical appliance. Public places and big groups of people and I'm still afraid of it. I'm 22 and nearly had an anxiety attack in the checkout line at Walmart a year ago. Curse my anxiety. Oh and the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. I was terrified of the operation game. I would have full on panic attacks if I saw it within my vicinity. I think it was the BZZZZ noise electrical shocks red nose that scared me so much. I was absolutely horrified by that game. My poor mother just wanted me as a child to have fun XD. Ducks. Still am cause I got bit on my left nut as a kid. Wonder Woman spinning and changing. The witch in Snow White. Especially when she's cackling and going into a cellar and all you can see is eyes. The toilet for an embarrassingly long time. When I flushed I had to close the lid. Stand as far back as possible. And then asterisk run asterisk the bookshelf. I would like to know more please. Have you ever read the book Flat Stanley? If not pretty much I was scared the bookshelf would fall on me and turn me super thin and I didn't want that. I was six sevenths at the time. Flushing the toilet. When I was really little my dad's best friend told me that when you flush a toilet on an airplane, it just opens to the sky below. And if you're not careful you'll get sucked in and fall to your doom as you're terrified me. 
guy was is kind of a jerk tbh thank you so much for watching and have a good day